What's up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you five premiere templates that can be used as an intro, an opener, anything like that. Now this template pack is on videohive.net, which is part of Envato's marketplace, and I am a partner with them, so I did get this for free, but I'm not being sponsored to say anything, and this video is definitely not sponsored, but this is a really cool template pack, and I wanna share it with you guys in this video. So like I said, you are getting five templates in one, and I'll put a link down below, of course, so you can check this out. But without further ado, let's see what you can make with these templates. This sucks. My teeth hurt. So once you download the file, you're gonna get a couple of folders like this. The assets folder won't be there. This is just my own collection of photos and videos, whatnot. But we have five templates and they're organized by folder. So each template has its own project file. Now the one I used for that demo I showed you guys was number two, that's the fast modern opener. But let's just use something random like the stylish opener. Now I won't have time to show you all of the different project files, but the process is the same for all of them so you can still follow along just the same. So when we open it up, you may notice things are kind of moved around and that's just because it has its own workspace for the project. So feel free of course to change that, but I'm gonna be leaving it on this editing tab. But on the left, we have three folders here. The edit tab pretty much just has all of our content. So we can swap out our logo there, and of course all the pictures, video, anything like that, and then our titles. And then once we're done with the project, we'll go into here and render it out from there, and we don't even need to look at the assets, but if you wanna create a new folder, or throw in your own photos and videos, you can do that. So I'm just gonna drag in my own photo and video folder. I'll be using that, but literally just grab anything you wanna use and throw it in there. And then we can head over into the edit tab, go down to shots, and we can start changing out these pictures. So all you have to do is just drag in a random photo. It's probably gonna to be too big for the canvas, so you wanna go into effect controls and just scale that down. You may wanna reposition it. And if you wanna trim it down, you can. I will show you how to extend some of these scenes later on in the video, but let's just leave it at that for now and move on to shot two. And just for the sake of time, I'm gonna speed through this process a little bit. So I've changed out a couple of pictures here and I rendered it out just a little bit so we can see what it looks like. This does take a little bit of time to render just because there are a lot of effects going on. So I would just keep that in mind. I'd recommend doing as much of the work up front before you hit render just so that you don't have to keep going back and forth. Another thing you can do is just change the render quality down. That'll help just speed the process up a little bit. But here in the final sequence, you'll see that we have a couple of layers. We've got the light leaks, we've got film, grain, and then the main scene, which if I click into that, you'll see all of the actual scenes built out there. So if you wanna take any of the effects off, you can just disable it there. I think it looks really smooth just for the transitions. For example, right here between the shots, you'll see that it's being used pretty heavily to go into the next scene like that. Obviously you can take off the film or the grain textured look, by default, they're using the screen and multiply blend modes, but you can also jump in here and start messing around with the opacity. So maybe if you wanted to increase the light leaks there, you could totally do that. Or if you wanna leave it, bring it down a little bit, that's where you would tweak it in the effect controls. As cool as all the visuals look, it is a little bit boring without music, so I'm just gonna drop in a track. And this will also help you kinda of edit to the beat and make it look a little bit more professional. Now, if I play this back, you'll see it's obviously not really cut to the beat very well. It's just kind of scattered, not really in time. So if you are pretty set on the track that you're using and you really want it to be cut to the beat, it is a little bit of work because the template isn't really made to be moved around the duration, but it's definitely possible. So the way you want to do it is go into the main scene and then for whichever scene that you want to extend, we'll just double click into that. So scene one, for example, and we can just zoom out a little bit. And right now, most of the scenes are gonna be set to two seconds, but what I would recommend is just moving it to something like five or seven so that you have more than enough to cut later on. So I'm just gonna extend the title out to about five seconds there. And then we'll also extend the background. And then in order to extend the shot, you're gonna to need to double click into that and then just extend your photo or video, whatever you have, as far as you need it to be extended. And then we can drag that composition out. 
And that's pretty much all you need to do. These other two layers, the mask and this beginning sequence right here are just used for the transition at the beginning. And then at the end clip, the next scene will take over there. So it's really as far as you need to extend it. And then if we jump back into the main scene, we can now extend that shot one a little bit more. Now I would recommend bringing in your audio file into the main scene instead of the final sequence, just so that you can see where the beat actually is. And now that we have that extended, we can audio listen to jungle. it and see where the next beat is. So right there is probably where I wanna cut it, right at that waveform. So what I'll do is I'll select all and then hold shift and deselect the background and scene one and drag that to the beginning. And if we play audio that back. Jungle. Now maybe you want the title to be shown on the beat instead of just the shot starting. What you could do is select that and then just drag it over a little bit more so that by the time that beat gets there, the title's Audio already jungle. up and animated. Something like that. And then we would do the same thing for the next scene. So just one more time, I'll show you how to do it for scene two, for example. So we'll jump into that clip, extend the title out something like five seconds, drag that background out, Go to our shot sequence, extend our picture out. We can go back into scene two and now we can drag that out again. If we go to our main scene, we can now extend scene two out and we'll move the other scenes over so that it's more time. And then you would keep going throughout the project. Now my advice would be unless the music you're using kind of has a weird beat or it just really isn't in time with the sequences, just don't mess around with the durations. It's more work than you really need. And honestly, there's so much happening in the transitions and the effects being applied that it's kind of enough to distract the user from seeing that it's not in time. But if you want to totally do it, this is what I would recommend doing, just extending all the sequences and then lining them up like I showed you. So that's just the beginning of what our opener would look like. Obviously, I haven't finished out all the shots, so it's not complete. But just to show you what that would look like, I'm gonna open up the other project file that I used for the demo. So just to show you what a fully finished project would look like, here I have all of my scenes built out. They've got some photos. There's a couple of videos just being used in the background. And I did change out the text. So in order to change out the titles, it's very easy. Just go into that titles folder and double click on the title you wanna edit. Now I'd recommend moving your timeline cursor to something on black just so that you can read it. And then you pretty much just build out the titles. Now the font they use is Monsterot. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but it is included in the project so you can install that and then everything will link up. But of course you can totally change this out. You can change the size, change the tracking, whatever you really wanna do. And then whatever you do, once you are done, just come down here and make sure that it's perfectly centered. You can just use those two buttons and it'll perfectly align it horizontally and vertically. And then you just go through doing the same thing for all your other titles, just double click, change out the text, and you can build out your story. Now there are only 15 titles and the scenes are very short. They're maybe two or three seconds. So you don't wanna add more than two or three words max. I The most I added was really like to my or back to another, like welcome back to another, something like that. But you wanna keep it really simple. You wanna keep the text big so it's easy to read because usually this is going really fast so people don't have a lot of time to read what you're saying. Obviously you could keep duplicating the scenes and just keep building them out as many as you need to complete the duration. By default, I think all the openers are under 30 seconds. This one's around 24, 25. But if you needed like a minute long promo, you could totally just take all of these scenes duplicate them, and then just copy and paste them over so that you build that as long as you need. So if you need an intro or an opener for whatever it is you're doing, maybe you have your own YouTube channel and you wanna put this at the beginning of your videos, something like that, I would definitely recommend checking out this template. It is around 20 or 30 bucks, but like I say with all templates, if video editing or animation really isn't your thing and you just wanna save a lot of time but still have something that looks good, this is probably the best way to do it. And again, none of this is sponsored. I'm just saying if you don't really feel like spending a lot of time in After Effects or Premiere and you'd rather focus on content or doing something else, then this is probably the way to go. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.